Okay, we are back and uh, we should be able to trade with these dwarves soon enough once our broker is done sleeping. And I'm guessing uh, that we will be able to buy at least a little bit of useful things with those plump helmet roasts, so that'll be good. Um, we have put all of these piccolos down in our king's um, throne, or our, uh, our king's tomb, that's the word I was looking for. His head and mutilated corpse have both been placed inside the sarcophagus, so that is good. He has been laid to rest. The statue has been placed, solid gold statue for him. And, I don't know, what else should we give him? Um, I guess, for a king's burial, we could give him a couple coins. There we go. We'll place two uh, stockpiles for coins there. And we will maybe, um, let's see, allow, or we're going to block all except for gold here. So hit B and then enter on the gold and that will allow us to block all coins but gold ones. And we will mint up some gold coins and eventually place them there. And that will be good. It'll be a little bit of treasure for our king's tomb. Feels necessary at least uh, to give him some stuff, some cool stuff for the afterlife. Our broker is busy drinking now, instead of trading, so we'll see if he uh, gets around to that at some point. Hopefully he does. Oh, and a giant ulm has reverted to a wild state. I don't really care, but it zooms down here, which shows us that we have at least finished that wall. Um, so the caverns are walled off there. And how about down here? They are also walled off down here. Hopefully there's no dwarf bodies down here that we haven't gotten. Doesn't look like there are, um, I don't think. So that'll be good. Um, we are safe from forgotten beast attacks for now, at least, unless something can break through walls. But if goblins were to show up, we may have some issues. I don't know. Uh, Actually, I do know, and we would have issues. We have zero um, military to speak of, basically. We have three soldiers. That is it. Um, even a simple goblin invasion would probably be pretty bad at this point. We would have to, uh, have to just wall ourselves in. And we've had one of our dwarves slip into depression, as you can see here on the announcements. Oh, but hey, look, we are making more coffins, so that's good. We should place all of them very quickly. Oh, look at that. They started just pumping them out at some point. Cool. Okay. So we are going to get uh, a bunch of dead buried here. And that is going to help out quite a bit. Um, we'll put these here. There we go. Um, and we will have to set them all to be used for burial once they're placed. But once we do that, that'll hopefully uh, allow us to bury most of these dwarves. They're all dead here. Let's make a bunch more caskets there. Just so there is no chance that we won't have enough. Um, just being absolutely sure. We will do that. Okay, um, so now that the caskets are being made, we are actually uh, going to sort of be making some progress. If our broker doesn't come to the depot, that's not a huge deal, I guess, um, but maybe we should see if the dwarves have anything good to trade us. So I guess I will go and set um, him to go straight to the depot. 
Okay, well, he has no jobs uh, now but to go to the depot, so I'm sure he will get around to it eventually. Uh, whenever he's done storing whatever item in the stockpile that he has. Okay. Um, oh, wow, they are pumping out these caskets now very, very quickly. Um, let's see. Um, let's just put a bunch of these all around here. You can walk over caskets, I hope. Uh, like, when I place these, it's not going to block them from getting to the other ones. Hopefully, at least. Otherwise, our tomb is nowhere near big enough. Uh, we will need to work on that. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, we should also set some of these animals to not be tamed, because I don't care about taming you. Um, that's the one that's way down in the bottom uh, that we keep getting zoomed to inconveniently when he reverts to his wild state. Um, but, yeah, we've got big body pile up still. That's fine. Just, just got to get all these caskets placed which is going to take us a little bit. Um, I should maybe fix those idlers, because we have a couple of them that could be tasked on furniture hauling. Okay, so that is taken care of, and now our only idler is the one who is depressed and not doing anything. But, if we take a look here, our broker is at the depot now, so we can trade, except for we can't because our goods are not at the depot. What else uh, can we trade to the dwarves? Let's see. Besides all of this food, which we are going to want to keep, I think. Uh, those adamantine coins are worth a lot, but maybe we should keep those. We'll give them some iron bolts. There we go, and even more. Perfect. Okay, so someone should get around to hauling those over, hopefully. Um, like I said, if not, we don't actually need need anything from the caravans. Uh, the only thing that we really could use right now is migrants uh, to get our fort back up and running a little faster. But other than that, it's basically going to be waiting for those guys to place those coffins and get these dead buried. And it's going to be a race against that and um, all of the negative thoughts that will come from all of the death and horror and all the ghosts and things like that. But um, if we can survive that, we should be okay. And the merchants are leaving soon, and unless this is uh, someone hauling some stuff to the trade depot, it doesn't look like it. Oh, hey, no, actually, look at that. They did get our stuff to the depot, and these plump helmet roasts are worth insane amounts of stuff. Okay. Well, is there anything that we need from these guys? Um, I guess we could just get... Um, let's see bunch of seeds all of the seeds in fact that they have we want actually let's look up yeah all right we want all of these plump helmets stuff here you can never have too many plump helmets that is a rule that I live by in Dwarf Fortress and uh, if we are, in fact, attacked at some point and need to wall ourselves in, we will be able to survive off of the food supplies that we have for an insanely long time. Uh, and the more plump helmets we have, the longer that will be, because uh, you can make booze out of them and food, and they're basically just uh, the best dwarven food. Okay, so we got all of the plump helmets all of the seeds, uh, we could get still some dimple cup spawns. Um, no, alright, here we go. Dimple cup spawn. Right there, and there, there, and there. Okay. So that is pretty good. Um, what else is there? I suppose we could buy all of their beer. 
So if we get all of that, all of this wine, ale, um, not shale, ale. There we go. All this ale and rum. Perfect. Okay. So, now that we've got all of that stuff, how many of these plump helmet roasts are we going to need to give them? How about if we give them 25? How much is that worth? Not enough. Um, what if we give them 60? Alright, let's see if they take that deal. Okay, cool. So we still have 94 plump helmet roasts left, and we bought uh, tons of plump helmets and plump helmet seeds and stuff to make more at some point. So that is good. And uh, I just saw a bunch of dwarves hauling caskets down here, which also makes me happy. We will set all of them to be used for burial because that is also very important, obviously. And, hey, look at this! Migrants have arrived. How many are we getting? Where are they? Well, our population was at 30. Um, we'll see where they stream in from. With these trees, it's always tough to tell where they're actually trying to zoom me to. Uh, but we'll watch them pour into the fortress here at some point. Hopefully, um, I see two migrants, three, it looks like, coming. Is that it? That is all we got, three migrants. Well, uh, that is three more able bodies, I suppose, than we had before. So that'll be at least helpful in a small way. And uh, the rebuilding process is slow, but it is definitely beginning. Okay, so I took a look at our migrants, and uh, there's nothing insane or interesting really about them. Just three fairly normal dwarves. Uh, and we see the merchant caravans uh, and their whole host leaving back to wherever it is that they go. Um, so that's that, and we have our 33 dwarves here chugging away and doing their best to put together this broken, broken fortress. Oh, look at this. Look at how many coffins they have placed. Perfect. Alright, we're going to use all of these for burial. Make sure we got them all put to yes. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, actually, if uh, we keep this pace up uh, with these coffins here, we may avoid the onslaught of ghosts. Let's see, do we have a bunch of ghosts? Not yet. We do not have any yet. So, that could be good. Um, we could be okay. But that is still a large pile of dead dwarves. Uh, and growing, apparently, is our corpse stockpile. And these giant olms keep reverting to wild states, but I still, still just don't care. Okay, so, bunch more coffins. Allow for burial in all of these. There we go. Perfect. I don't know how many more we'll need. Um, but we're going to fill up at least that half of the room. Uh, and then we should hopefully not have any more corpses out in this stockpile here. Why is there some sort of animal in this stockpile. A reindeer cow uh, in a cage. Oh well, we'll leave it there, I don't care. We can't waste our dwarves time dealing with a caged reindeer. That is not where it should be. We have much more important business to attend to, such as burying all of these dead guys. Okay, so that is that, and it looks like we got all of these coffins basically placed. Um, and most of them have been assigned uh, a dead guy already, so that is a good thing. Um, 
Let's see, how many more coffins do we have? A ton more. We should build a bunch of them just to be safe. We are literally going to have the entire half of this tomb filled with coffins, and I don't care, because that is uh, sometimes just what it takes in Dwarf Fortress. Uh, you can't have too many coffins, usually. That is a good rule when you play this game. Uh, but you see all of the dead dwarves now that should be being brought in. It should start any minute, and they will be buried properly, and it'll be all good. Our king is probably already buried. Yeah, he is actually. We checked on that already, so that's good. We can have... Uh, some sort of memorial for him, maybe. We'll figure out something to do. They'll probably build lots of statues and engravings of him and things like that in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Can't wait until the statues uh, start showing up of a mongoose just killing everyone. Because that is probably going to happen at some point. Uh, speaking of which, we could engrave some stuff and we'll see if they see what they engrave if we tell them to. Check that out if we remember in a little while. Okay, well I guess uh, I will figure out what this idler is. That may be our depressed person or it could be our broker that now has nothing to do. Either way, I'm gonna check on that and we will continue the rebuilding process. Uh, it's gonna be heading into mid-autumn. We're gonna truck our way through the winter with these 33 dwarves and hope that the next year brings many a migrant. Oh, uh-oh, hold on. Before I go, we have uh, some announcements. Ghostly miners and uh, hammer lords are rising. Um, and a gold goblet has been misplaced, taken by a ghost. Oh boy, we're gonna start running into these problems if we don't get all these guys buried soon. Uh, Alright, and hopefully we have all their bodies to bury, that sometimes happens where you can't find them, and that's no good for anybody. Um, okay, so, make all of these buryable. Cool. Oh, saw one that was a no, there we go, a couple of them actually, okay. So that is that. And now uh, we will work on getting these guys buried before too many of them become ghosts. Let's take a look here. Let's follow this ghost around. Oh, he's sitting down in the stairwell here. Next to, um, oh, well, next to his corpse, actually. He is down in the stairwell next to his corpse. There's more corpses down here than I thought, actually. So not only do we have a huge stockpile of dead dwarves, we have a bunch of them still littering our fortress. Oh well, oh well, we will rebuild, we will persevere. We are not defeated that easily here at Bear Medour.